feeling real good, man. Real, real good, man. I like Call your knock this on this Nasty state, man. Ride out. Ride out. So you see the thumbnail. I'm not going to waste any time. You see the thumbnail. The New York Giants select wide receiver from LSU, Malik Neighbors, at six. The Giants couldn't trade up to three like the rumors were saying to get Drake May. It didn't. It, it fell out. If it was true, you know, it, it didn't happen. It didn't pan out. The Giants stayed at six, picked at six, and Malik Neighbors was that pick. Welcome to New York, Malik Neighbors. Welcome to Big Blue. Welcome to the Giants, Malik Neighbors. That's it. That's what it is. We have a wide receiver one now. So just think about the offseason. Just thinking about the offseason. Offensive line addressed in free agency. The first pick in the draft addressed the wide receiver room. Whatever happens with Darius Slayton happens with Darius Slayton. If he wants to be disgruntled, guess what? Malik Neighbors, Jalen Hyatt, Wondell Robinson, that's, that's your three wide receivers right now. Slayton, if you want to come back and join the team, join the squad in this little holdout you're doing, then we'll welcome you with open arms. Right now, you got nothing to stand on when it comes to holding out. Nothing at all. And if you don't hold out, you don't get... I mean, if you if you hold out, you won't get paid. But that's not the story. Obviously, addressing the elephant in the room. Yes, I wanted a quarterback. I did want a quarterback. Guess what? I didn't get what I wanted. The New York Giants decided to go with a wide receiver. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be happy. A lot of people are going to be mad. At the end of the day, you know where I stand. I can't do anything about this now. I did all my, uh, I made all my opinions before the draft, before we pick six. We'll see what happens in the next two days with these other picks. But right now, I'm going to celebrate Malik Neighbors. Welcome to New York, Malik Neighbors. Bonafide wide receiver one. Absolutely. I need him to take a deep dive into the playbook right away. I don't want to hear the excuses like with Jalen Hyde. Why is he on the field? He's not ready. He doesn't know the, whatever's going. I, we can't have that happen. Malik Neighbors needs to be on the field. And I can't wait to see how they create plays and, and get and get Malik Neighbors open. Because we need Malik Neighbors to get open. Just like Hyde was open. Just like Hyde is open. Malik Neighbors hopefully is going to be open. And guess what? He's going to affect everybody else on that squad because a lot of people have to pay attention to these uh, wide receivers for the New York Giants because if you fall asleep, there's a lot of speed on this team. A, bu a bunch of 4-3s, 4-4 guys on this team. You got to respect the speed of the New York Giants. That's one thing that has to happen. Now we just need all of this stuff to come together. We need all of it to come together. We need good, good quarterback play whether it's daniel jones whether it's drew lock whoever's ready at the time week one whatever they we need good quarterback play right now offensive line addressed in free agency wide receiver addressed in, in uh in the first pick of the 2024 draft so you have your you have your offensive line and you have your number one wide receiver let's make something happen let's make something happen man um, I'm like I said, this is just a quick reaction to the New York Giants picking up Malik Neighbors. Again, nobody's mad at Malik Neighbors. A lot of people are happy at Malik Neighbors. Um, for me, I'm like, okay, we didn't get the quarterback, but we got a damn good blue chip player. We got a blue chipper. We got a blue chipper, and we better use them the right way. And I, I don't even think there's a wrong way to use them outside, inside. Malik Neighbors can do it all. Malik Neighbors can do it all, and he's a true threat, a true wide receiver one. And then you know what else he brings? He brings some attitude to this team. You know, we had we had some guys that smile a lot. We had some guys that dance. We had some guy. We got a dog right now with, with Malik Neighbors. That's one thing that you say about Malik Neighbors. Here's the thing, though: you can't have any kind of firearms, none of that stuff in New Jersey, New York area. You can't do that. So make sure. You know, you stay on your P's and Q's, leave all that stuff back in Louisiana or, you know, make sure you got the right paperwork. Outside of that, I'm happy for the New York Giants. Uh, I'm happy for the quarterback room getting these weapons. Um, and then we'll see what happens next at 47. Unless something happens, like again, this is the first round is still going on. Um, 
It, unless they trade back into the first round, which I don't think there's anything to trade back into the first round for. Usually you do that for like a quarterback or something like that. But right now, I think the New York Giants are going to sit still and pick at 47. And please let me know in the comments now below which way you would go at 47. Are you thinking cornerback, D-line, edge rusher, an, an additional ed edge rusher, safety? Offensive line, if you feel like we still need to address the offensive line, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the next pick at 47. And also let me know what you think about Malik Neighbors. And again, recap, I'm happy that we have Malik Neighbors. I'm happy. I'm happy about the wide receiver room. I'm happy about that situation. Now, now we really got to make sure that we do what we have to do to put the best product on the field and hopefully we can do that but i want to thank everybody for vibing with me please like comment and subscribe and for one giants fan to another this is big dash knows big blue nation let's go